The topic of giants in human history often stirs a mixture of fascination, skepticism, and conspiracy theories. Despite the controversial nature of these claims, discoveries of unusually large human remains have periodically captured public attention and spurred debates among scientists and enthusiasts alike. In 2019, geologist Theophilos Tulkeridis and archaeologist Florencio Delgado announced the discovery of unusually large bones in the village of Chulqui, in the province of Manabi, Ecuador. This finding was placed within the context of the Manteño Huancavilca culture, which flourished from around 1200 to 1600 AD. The skeleton was estimated to be about 2.1 meters tall when alive, an extraordinary height for a human living 5,000 years ago. Furthermore, local oral traditions recounted by the villagers to the researchers spoke of cannibalistic giants, adding a mythical dimension to the discovery, which was subsequently named the Jalkui Giant. Historical Discoveries in the United States Going back further in history, an intriguing find occurred in 1911 when guano miners in Lovelock, Nevada stumbled upon strange objects in a cave. This led to formal excavations in 1912 and 1924, which unearthed thousands of artifacts, including mummies ranging between 8 to 10 feet tall, famously known as the Lovelock Giants. These mummies were noted not only for their size, but also for their distinctive red hair. While these findings might seem incredible, similar stories of mysterious discoveries have emerged from various parts of America. On January 21, 1899, the Miamisburg Daily Telegram reported the discovery of a giant skeleton in Ohio, which was purported to stand over 244 centimeters tall, around 2.4 meters. The skeleton was said to be excavated by archaeologists Edward Kaufman and Edward Gebhar about 0.8 kilometers from Miamisburg, an area known for its Native American artifacts dating back thousands of years. The peculiarities of this find, particularly the skeleton's ancient age and its seemingly proportional human body with a gorilla-like skull, have baffled archaeologists. Many of these so-called giant findings in America have been documented, most notably in the Encyclopedia of Ancient Giants in North America, published in 2015. This collection includes numerous accounts of giant skeletons found across the continent, contributing to the ongoing debate about their existence and the possible explanations for their size. While the existence of giants as a distinct race of humans remains a topic of debate, these discoveries highlight the complexities and mysteries of human evolution and ancient history. Whether these findings point to a subspecies of large humans, the result of genetic mutations, or simply misinterpretations of archaeological remains, they continue to intrigue and challenge our understanding of the past. The sensational claims about the discovery of giant human skeletons in various parts of the world, including India and Ecuador, continue to stir public interest and debate. However, these claims often lack substantial scientific backing and remain within the realm of speculation and folklore. In March 2007, a report in Hindu Voice India claimed that a team from the National Geographic Society, in cooperation with the Indian Army, unearthed giant human skeletons in northern India. The report suggested that these remains could be linked to a race of superhumans described in the ancient epic Mahabharata around 200 BC. 
The claims included descriptions of being so large and strong that they could uproot trees with their bare hands. Such reports, while captivating, often lack verifiable evidence and contribute to myths rather than scientific understanding. In the more scientifically scrutinized case of the Jolkui giant in Ecuador, anthropologist Nicholas Landall conducted a study to ascertain the validity of the claims. Although an old skeleton was indeed found, Landall and his team concluded that the height estimate of 2.1 meters was exaggerated. The Lost Race of Giants episode of the documentary series Code of the Wild, which featured an interview with the discoverers, had previously suggested a thigh bone length far exceeding average human measurements. However, Landall found that these measurements were not based on direct measurement but assumptions, and further analysis suggested a height range of 153.34 to 162.37 centimeters for the Jalkui individual, which does not qualify as a giant in human terms. The Lovelock Giants from Nevada present a slightly different narrative. These remains, characterized by their astounding size and distinctive red hair, have sparked curiosity about a possibly lost tribe known as the Si Teca. Ancient stories recounted by the 16th century Spanish conquistador Pedro Chiesa de Leon describe a group of tall individuals who traveled by sea on rafts. Additionally, elongated skulls and red-haired skeletons estimated to be about 3,000 years old have been found in the Andes between Peru and Bolivia. These findings provide some tangible evidence to Paiute folklore, which portrays the Siteca as red-haired cannibalistic giants who arrived in America from a distant island. These discoveries, while intriguing, often blend historical facts with myths, making it challenging to discern the true nature of these findings. The scientific community remains cautious, often requiring more rigorous evidence before confirming the existence of previously unknown human races or giants. The fascination with giants likely stems from a human penchant for storytelling and the mystery surrounding our ancient past. As such, while these tales capture the imagination, they also underscore the need for critical scrutiny and adherence to scientific methodologies in archaeology and anthropology. In 1934, Alice Herdlika, an anthropologist and curator from the Smithsonian Institution, responded to claims about a race of giants, particularly those reported by the Miamisburg Daily Telegram in 1899. He firmly rejected the existence of a race of giants ranging between 7, 8 feet, about 2.4 meters, tall. He attributed the misconceptions to amateur anthropologists being deceived by bone measurements, often due to a lack of understanding of human anatomy. Mark Hub, professor of anthropology at Ohio State University, echoed this sentiment by stating, there is no real evidence of giant skeletons in Ohio. His view is supported by W. Scott McGraw, chair of the anthropology department at the same institution, who lightly noted, there are many wonderful stories about giants, but they are just that, stories from creativity and imagination. Gigantism is embedded in folklore across many civilizations, with the most epic perhaps being the biblical tale of Goliath, who battled the legendary David. Yet, not all such tales are purely legend. Examples of real-life giants include Andre René Rusimov, or Andre the Giant, who stood about 2.24 meters tall, and Richard Keel, who was 2.18 meters tall and known as Jaws in two James Bond films. Another real-life giant was Robert Wadlow, also known as the Alton Giant, who was the tallest recorded human in history at over 2.72 meters tall. He died in 1940 at the young age of 22. 
Several experts and scientists have posited theories related to our condition and perception concerning unusually large beings. Gigantism and its counterpart, acromegaly, are rare conditions caused by excessive production of growth hormone, which stimulates the growth of skeletal tissues and other body tissues. Essentially, it occurs when a child experiences accelerated growth due to excessive growth hormone production, ultimately leading to human stature far beyond the average size. So back to the initial question, do giants really exist? Or slightly rephrased, why do humans believe in the existence of giants? While the factual existence of medical conditions like gigantism cannot be denied, the belief in giant humans or Nephilim as referred to in some religious texts often stems from ancient religious texts and folklore. In several religious traditions there are mentions of giants or semi-divine beings, and these stories have been passed down through generations. However, from a scientific standpoint, there is no strong and relevant evidence supporting the existence of giants as described in these ancient texts. The human body is limited by biological boundaries, and the existence of such beings appears biologically implausible, especially based on our current understanding of human physiology and genetics. It is crucial to consider the cultural and historical context from which these beliefs originate, and to approach such topics with a critical and open-minded perspective.